As a young activist, I am often told that one day I am going to change the world. I'm a Gen Zer, the generation succeeding millennials and preceding Generation Alpha. Now, they say that we're on track to be the most well-educated generation yet, being more ethnically and racially diverse than any previous generation. We are also the first social generation, meaning we have no memory of a world before the internet or smartphones. And maybe, because of this, we will also become a generation of influencers who can accelerate the actions needed to take on some of the world's most pressing issues. Over the past two years, I have had the amazing opportunity to work with some of the most amazing young people in a local climate strike group called Our Earth, Our Future. It's completely youth-run. In my first meeting, I was astonished to see that for once I wasn't the youngest person in the room. My group was able to single-handedly mobilize over 20,000 people to the streets of Victoria, British Columbia. And we spent most of our time together empowering each other's ideas or developing new ones together. And we had some pretty big dreams. We wanted to defeat climate change in an inclusive way. We wanted to empower young people across the world to fight for their futures and to understand the power they have with their voice and their vote. Which leads us to our biggest idea. 16-year-olds should have the right to vote. Voting habits established early will usually stay with us for life. I didn't make that up. You can Google it yourself. Now, Voting in Canada has changed with the times, with the right being given to women in 1918 and the voting age being lowered from 21 to 18 in 1970. Now, I'm sure when that age was initially proposed, there was tons of pushback and feedback and reasons why 18-year-olds couldn't possibly be responsible enough to vote. Even though they could legally enlist to fight in a war at the time, now, today's 16-year-olds aren't fighting any wars, but they can drive a car, they can drop out of school, we can even be tried in a Canadian court as an adult. 16-year-olds pay taxes like everyone else, but they have no say in where that money goes or what the government does with it. And yet, with all of that, our voices are silenced by an inability to participate in a system that affects our futures daily. I know that I'm standing on the shoulders of others who have successfully changed the voting system in the past, but I believe that there are good reasons as to why we are ready for the next change. Yet, this begs the question, are 16-year-olds even ready to vote? Did I just hear a bit of a collective inhale there? 16? They don't even take the garbage out without being told. They cannot be trusted to participate in our democracy. And yeah, it's probably true that a lot of 16-year-olds aren't as educated in politics as others. But let's be honest, that's true for any age group. Yet, one of the biggest barriers to lowering the voting age is still this perceived lack of knowledge and education that comes with age. So, the easiest way to change this perception is education. By letting 16- and 17-year-olds vote, we can maximize those effects of those lifelong voting habits I mentioned earlier by engaging 16-year-olds while they're still in school, taking civics classes. Not only will this create a familiarity with voting, but it means that information about it will be at every student's fingertips. It would make sense then, being 16 or 17 years old, learning about democracy in school, but also participating in it in real time. Would aligning our voting habits and education not 
serve us well for future election success? And trust me, my age group's voting habits could really use some improvement. On average, only six out of 10 young Canadians, those age 18 to 24, voted in the last three federal elections. That's the lowest percentage of any other age demographic. Established voting habits for my group could have a huge impact. I certainly know that one of the main reasons I am as engaged and political as I am today is my, due to my education. I've been given the opportunity to enroll in a program at my high school called Institute for Global Solutions, or IGS as we call it. And I've watched so many graduates go on to do amazing things. What's so unique about IGS is that we are given the opportunity to study the Canadian political system in depth, which of course only ignited my own research. And in this research, I learned this key fact that voting habits established early will usually stay with us for life. Now, I know that some 16-year-olds might not be as educated around politics as others, but everyone has a different passion. For me, it's obviously politics, but for someone else, it might be a sport or an art form, even a field of study. But what they all have in common is that voting in some way affects them. And I believe that if we can educate everyone on just how they're being impacted, we will all begin to understand the power we have with our voice and our vote. And our politicians can play a role here too. It does seem that political campaigns are far more interested in engaging those who already vote than those like me who haven't even cast our first ballot yet. I'd suggest that there's a wonderful opportunity for politicians to engage with us earlier and to foster a sort of curiosity and understanding within us. After all, we're all going to become voters eventually, but we don't automatically become engaged and informed the day we turn the magic age of 18. My research also led me to an organization called Vote 16. And like the name sounds, it is their goal to support the efforts of those trying to extend voting rights to 16 and 17 year olds. And they have groups across the world, including here in Canada, where they're teaching us all the importance of politics and the power we have with our voice and our vote. As a young activist, I am often told that one day I am going to change the world. And I would like to start that change right now. And I know I'm not alone. There are thousands of young people standing up, sharing the same message as I am. And it's not just my generation's responsibility. We all have a role in creating a flourishing democracy in Canada. And it can start by educating everyone on the importance of politics and the power we have with our voice and our vote. Because I know that Gen Z is different. Not because each generation before us didn't want to be engaged or have issues that they wanted to make change in. Maybe it's Gen Z's social reach and access to technology. Maybe it's our diversity and willingness to change. Either way, we are ready to participate. To participate in a democracy where innovation and knowledge have no age barrier. So yes, I may just be 15 years old, but I'm a 15 year old standing up here as a proof of concept that my generation is ready to participate. We just need you to vote us in so we can start establishing those voting habits early, habits that will usually stay with us for life. Thank you.